Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be taking you all on another thrift trip with me today. So I'll be thrifting over the next couple of days and looking for some more autumn fall items as it's getting really cold all of a sudden. So on the first day, literally the first thing that I saw when I walked in was this uh, Y2K DC hoodie that was literally just sitting there. Like, who just left this here? Um, it's mine now. Thank you. I went through the racks of clothes that people had put back and saw this skirt that was possibly cute in like a coquette sort of way, but maybe gave me more like business sort of office vibes. Uh, I used to be really into these mesh graphic print tops, but now I think I'll just be uh, getting the really cool ones to resell as I don't think they suit my style as much anymore. This skirt has been sitting here for weeks now. It's definitely giving something. It's just not giving enough for me to like spend money on. And then this skirt looked like a DIY project possibly. Uh, it was like fraying at the hem. Again, I'm finding a lot of like feminine pieces. Like where are all my emo Y2K pieces at? Like I need them back, please. This is another skirt that's been sitting here for ages, but it's like a size 18 and I've debated getting it and resizing it for myself, but the plus size girlies definitely deserve all the cute 90s pieces, so I left it there. This skirt looked like it was vintage, but ended up being fast fashion brand, but it's okay because it was literally half my size. I looked through shirts next and if this one was a size small and like really tight fitting, like almost like a baby tee, I reckon I would have gotten it because I love this style. Same with this one, I think if it was tighter um, or like a smaller size, then uh, I definitely would have gotten it. Stars are really trendy at the moment and I am unfortunately uh, very obsessed with the trend as well. Once again, the men's jumper section coming through with another vintage piece. This was from the brand Terra Nova um, and it reminded me of a Geku one that I thrifted recently, but I couldn't justify that price unfortunately. I do kind of regret not getting this gorgeous black slip dress. It was covered in this rose print. I absolutely loved it. Don't remember why I didn't buy it. Maybe it was too big. I'm still on the lookout for a pajama set. Again, why didn't I get this? It was so pretty. Like the hearts, the diamonds. What the hell is wrong with me? I looked through dresses and found this green one that I thought was honestly so unbelievably ugly, but it was from the brand Desigual, which is a really popular Y2K brand. I actually have a dress that's from them, but definitely this one is not it. And for $20, no thank you. I used to have a dress that was exactly like this, but it was terrible quality. So I thought that maybe I could get this one that was a much better quality one, but it was like a size four, so definitely not fitting me. Shoe section was up next and I found these half ankle, half knee boots, really weird length and the sole was just hard wood so they were cute from like afar, you know? Okay, someone who works for Savers please explain the pricing system to me because these shoes are $20 but then these shoes are $6 and neither of them are notable brands or in any different quality to each other. Anyway, there are a few more pairs of ankle boots, they were actually really pretty, like these square toe ones and these mini cowboy boots. All of them, I feel, would fit my 90s aesthetic really well, but I am not paying $30 for secondhand shoes. So at this point I was actually just about ready to give up and just take the few items that I had in my cart but I luckily did another round of the aisles. I'm so glad that I did because I found this perfect Y2K mini skirt. I've been looking for a denim skirt like this one with the same wash and like vibe um, just like this for ages now and I've finally found one. The next thing that I ended up finding were these bloomers as well. They looked a little small, so I did leave them behind, but bloomers are really in right now, especially frilly ones like these. I also recently sold a dress that was just like this one. It was the same 90s lace overlay style, but instead of the pink slip, it was blue. So I figured that I could resell this one as well since it is absolutely stunning. At first, I thought these jeans were apple bottoms, um, which would actually be in such an insane find, but they weren't. They were very extra though, but I am a silver girl myself. The last thing that I found was this really unique skirt, and at first I loved the ring details, but when I flipped it over, there was one right in the middle that made it look like a butthole, so uh, no thank you. 
Anyway, on to day two and I am back. I accidentally filmed when I wasn't meant to and then stopped filming right as I was ready to press record. So this video looks like shit, sorry. First thing that caught my eye was this striped jumper, but the blue accents on the ends uh, made me think that it kind of looked like an American flag, so I wasn't sure about that. Okay, second thing I found was actually crazy. I thought it was from the brand Trip NYC, but it's like the Australian version of it, I guess. It's this perfect Morgoth skirt. I had to buy it, even though it doesn't fit me. So I will definitely be reselling for all my emo baddies. This trip was just banger after banger, honestly. Oh my God. Next, I found this vintage face-off denim jacket and just look at the detailing on it, the wash, the fled sleeves, the zippers. Again, it didn't fit me, so I will be reselling her, don't worry. This jumper actually looked so comfy, um, and it actually was. I ended up buying it, um, and then the cross prints on it just sold it to me even more. It definitely fit my style, so yeah, definitely went in the cart. I've seen a lot of these types of 2000s skirts recently where it's like a drop waist and then this like bow detailing. I haven't found one yet that I am like totally in love with, but I feel like I will soon. This top was actually from the brand Esprit, which really surprised me because it looked like a little basic, like it had just the lace detail around the neckline and that's it, which uh, isn't very Esprit of them at all. I found another emo skirt, but this time it was in that kind of Dangerfield 1950s pinup style with all the like traditional tattoo style girls on it. Um, and it was from the brand Evil Ruby, um, but unfortunately it was just way too big for me, so I ended up passing on it. At first, this top was giving the same vibes as like vintage Cup Capine, but then there was just something about the fit of it that put me off. Like, why are the arms so skinny and then the middle is so big? definitely would have fit weird. I actually loved this Betty Boop top. The tag even said it was from the Betty Boop brand. Uh, I don't even know if that's a thing. So, but I definitely would have snagged it if it didn't have these really modern looking stripes and plastic rings on it. it made it feel really cheap. Oh my god, I actually found something that's been on my thrift wish list for so long now. It's this black fur-lined cardigan slash sweater. Um, these are just so perfect for autumn and can be styled in so many different aesthetics. Never ever sleep on the sleepwear section. That is one of my main tips. Let me know if you want more tips. I will make a whole video on them. Um, but the sleepwear section always comes through with a really pretty slip just like this. And then in the dresses, I found this vintage rose print dress. If it wasn't a size 14, I reckon I would have bought it. I love this style so much and that color palette. Oh my God. The shoe section was actually pretty understocked this day, um, but these knee length half sweater, half Uggs were pretty interesting, I guess. There were also these cowboy boots, but again, they're in like a size five, so I would never fit into them. And then whatever these were, I don't know, they had laces all the way up the back and then a zip. I don't know, I love the color though. Um, sneaky heels are actually haunting me. I think uh, I really hope they don't come back. Uh, these are also haunting me. They are probably what someone in Gossip Girl would have worn to high school in like 2012. And then looking back, I definitely should have gotten this perfect skinny scarf. It was covered in black sequins and it would have just completed my like camp 2000s wardrobe. Oh my god, look at this little beanie. I've wanted to buy a ton of things from the kids section for our non-existent future child, Lola, so many times now. Um, the men's section was definitely weird today. I usually love these ultra-masculine tops, but uh, this was just like a little bit too much, I think. This was crossing into that border of like, I wear these jeans. Like, no. And then there were these super skinny jeans. Like, I have no idea who's fitting into these things, uh, but they had the American flag <laughs> poking through the rips. So who's the target audience here, you know? Um, and these were from the same brand. They were basically the male version of something you'd see on IMG. -er. Like, it was 80s rock star core. <laughs> what the hell is going on? 
And lastly, I went through the homeware section and look at this little guy. Isn't he just adorable? I think this was an alarm clock. Um, I actually have one of these in a dark red, so green would have been perfect to fit my house decor, but this one had Jesus glued on it. Uh, luckily there was one without Jesus on it though, so I immediately snatched that up. Um, I use it to organize my makeup brushes and things. I absolutely love it. Anyway, that is the end of today's trip. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe to see a thrift haul in the next couple of weeks where you'll see all these items and more. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.